from group number three. So uh, we're going to explain about the car related. So my name is Nuri Dhani Dimamudari. So I will explain more about the uh, functioning of the car radiator. So what is car radiator, guys? So this is the car radiator. You can see it. So this is the car radiator. So uh, it is functioning to allow the um, what do we call the engine? The engine are uh, to be cool uh, when it work. So there are two parts which is very important for the car radiator. Firstly, it's about the cooling fin, and second, transmission oil cooler. For uh, and then how uh, fin uh, functioning? So fin functioning actually is it is called a tabulator. So as you can see here, the diameter between it uh, quite quite small, quite small, right? So uh, it it it's allow air. Uh, it's allow fluid, which is a water cooling here water coolant here to pass through it so when it pass when the water coolant pass through the fin um, it will quick the cool cool what do you call cool, cool cooling process yeah cooling process okay and then uh, I got I'm going to explain about transmission air cooler so a transmission oil cooler cool. so it's functioning uh, same with the so as you can see here transmission oil cooler so it's functioning same with the cooling fin but it's actually for the specifically for oil but for the cooling fin it's specifically for cooling. water cooler so that's all from me thank you and i'm going to tell you more about the problem actually I remember when I was a child and one day I was just driving with my parents and on the highway I saw like a car out of nowhere just smoke started to come out of it and since that day I was thinking what caused all of this I remember my dad told me that day that oh it's just the engine heated up or the car is just the car temperature just raised to a point where up to like to a point where smoke started to build up and this is an issue with cars cars in general they combust Fuel. And because of this combustion, because of the work of the pistons, the friction involved in all the uh, what's called all the engine parts, this actually raises the temperature. So thermal engineers come up with solutions for all of these issues that involve the engine. They realize that why don't we just use air as a way to cool down the engine? So in here, as you can see, there is this certain part where is, there is like it allows air to just go through and it uses when the car just moves in with certain speed it allows the air to just eventuate the engine and allows air to just go through the engine but this is less convenient way this is not actually the way that it describes the process we actually have a more productive way of doing it where we use heat exchangers heat exchangers like what hmm. can you think about it heat exchangers and like for example radiators radiator is nothing but a heat exchanger because we have a, cold, a hot engine and we have like a somehow cold environment um, so we use a heat exchanger which is a radiator in general to just cool down the engine but this does not solve the issue as well because we know that the pistons we have oils for example that allows the pistons for the engine to like friction uh, like to Decrease have less friction. friction while it's just combusting the air in general for the fuel so there is oil in the engine so this oil also needs to be cooled down because if it's not cooled down then the piston would out of nowhere freeze and, and stop functioning and because of that also the friction will increase the thermal uh, the, 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 will increase the overall uh, temperature for the engine so let's just go and realize how the scientists come up with a system to fix all of this Assalamualaikum and a very good day my name is Narazmin Bidya Abdul Rasik so I'm from group 3 so my part is I'm going to explain how the system works okay here so I'm going to focus on the radiator which is the coolant pink 
So as you can see is that when the engine start, the coolant also gonna be pumped into the engine. So here is the piston. So when the piston like move during the combustion, the temperature gonna increase just like up to state. So here the coolant gonna absorb the heat and go to the cycle, which is the switch at first, uh, the switch gonna on and this is heater core, which is the same function as radiator. Uh, more likely like a mini radiator so it's the same it's have fin to pull out the uh, the coolant with air passing through it so it's just like gonna when the coolant already cool already reduce the temperature so it's going to cycle back into the here and then like so it's going to cycle back to the engine so here we have the thermostat what happened uh, if the temperature increase more than the average temperature of the engine. So here come the thermostat part, which is in the thermostat we have like wax something uh, connected with the spring. So when the temperature goes high, the wax gonna melt and so the thermostat gonna open. So the coolant gonna go through the big radiator. Here it's gonna pass through. Uh, more likely to zoom the radiator how it looks like like here we have the fin like the fin the function of the fin is to increase the surface area so that more heat can be exchanged so in case your yeah, efficiency like we do oh no not yet. <laughs> okay so the coolant gonna pass through it so from here is the hot coolant so after it pass through around here so the coolant gonna be cool and it's gonna cycle back from here and will be pumped back into the engine so that's how the cycle goes on and on okay i think uh for assalamualaikum and a very good day my name is narasmi Nadia abdurasi so i'm from group three so my part is i'm gonna explain how the system works okay here we are gonna focus on the radiator which is the coolant thing so as you can see is that when the engine starts the coolant also gonna be pumped into the engine. So here is a piston. So when the piston like move during the combustion, the temperature gonna increase just like up to state. So here the coolant gonna absorb the heat and go to the cycle, which is the switch at first. Uh, the switch gonna on and this is heater core, which is the same function as radiator. Uh, more likely like a mini radiator. So it's the same. It's have to pull out the uh, the coolant with air passing through it so it's just like gonna when the coolant already cool already reduce the temperature so it's going to cycle back into the here and then like so it's going to cycle back to the engine so here we have the thermostat what happened uh, if the temperature increase more than the average temperature of the engine. So here come the thermostat part, which is in the thermostat we have like wax something uh, connected with the spring. So when the temperature goes high, the wax gonna melt and so the thermostat gonna open. So the coolant gonna go through the big radiator. Here it's gonna pass through uh, more likely to zoom the radiator how it looks like like here we have the fin like the fin the function of the fin is to increase the surface area so that more heat can be exchanged so in case your yeah, efficiency like we do oh no not yet <laughs> okay so the coolant gonna pass through it so for me here is the hot coolant so after it pass through around here so the coolant gonna be cool and it's gonna cycle back from here and will be pumped back into the engine. So that's how the cycle goes on and on. Okay, I think uh, for the all transmission for all transmission coolant, it's the same thing happen here. It's just like another cycle, another path, but exactly the same cycle. So just like this. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you. Conclusion. So, as Azmin, Abdullah, and me myself uh, explain about the how the car, radi car radiator works. So, it's actually car radiator is a 
and important part for the car cooling system. So, as uh, it passes the hot coolant through the metal fins that conduct heat away from the liquid and into the air. So, when the coolant has reached the correct temperature, it will pump uh, back into the engine uh, block. So, this is called a cycle. As Azmin said uh, just now, uh, she showed the flow of the coolant from the hot temperature and then when uh, it circulates between the fin, it will reach the correct temperature which is the cool temperature. And then uh, the radiator also will cool down the transmission liquids as Azmin said just now and then it will, and it will regulate the temperature of uh, all the fluids between the radiator and then for the recommendation part so first of all uh, in order to apply the en thermal engineering to the car radiator uh, we need to improve the performance of car cooling radiator by using water nanoflakes water nanoflakes act as the water coolant or the fluids uh, in the radiator and then for the fin uh, we need to use the aluminium fin uh, which is has a diameter uh, between 1 inch so it will increase the water pump uh, speed and it will increase the thermal efficiency okay, this will increase uh, the speed and it, and it is uh, necessary to create the turbulence in the tubes and expose, and expose as much as coolant to the walls uh, that will act to the radiator and then uh, next uh, to ensure the system is filled with the coolant and freeze protection we need to educate for the uh, we need to educate the ambient temperature which is uh, when when we can apply the second uh, recommendation like I, ju I just said just now um, we will <coughs> can I say we will increase the speed and we also will increase the coolant we will increase the coolant like the coolant level uh, I think the coolant level and we, it will uh, actually the, it will stabilize the temperature and then uh, for the fluid for the fluid in the radiator in order uh, we need a fluid that anti-corrosion anti-corrosion so uh, it's actually for us to use a soft water but um, if we in the emergency situation so we just need uh, have to use tap water or bottle water so that's all from us uh, group D, so, so group three so thank you for your attention to our video so thank you